Anin, Bojo, Joel Egawissa, and Disney Cast. Welcome to another episode of White Buffalo Circles at Home Edition. In this week's video, my daughter and I are going to look at the Ojibwe clan system. I'm going to share a little teaching about the seven original clans of the Ojibwe. I hope you guys are being safe. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Miigwech for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. All right. Ani, sunshine. Ani. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. Good. So, today, we're going to talk a little bit about Ojibwe names. And we're also going to talk about families. And we're going to talk about family names. <laughs> now, my name is Joel. Right? That's my first name, Joel. My last name is Egoissa. That's my family name, Joel Egoissa. Right? Joel, my first name. Egoissa is my family name, my second name. Some people even have middle names, and I have a middle name as well. So do you. Um, now, the reason we have these last names, these family names, is because when you grow up, you're not supposed to marry somebody in your own family. That's kind of a rule in most cultures around this planet. So we have these family names. So when I was a little boy, I knew that when I grew up, I cannot marry somebody with the same last name, Egoissa, because that might be my cousin, and you're not supposed to marry in your own little family circle. So we have these last names to separate our families. Now, the Ojibwe people, um, we were the same way. We never married inside of our own immediate families. And we had last names, kind of like we have today, but in our culture, we were always doing things that tied to Mother Nature. Remember, we were always copying Mother Nature and seeing how she does stuff. So our family last names are not names like Egoissa or Lachance or Johnson. Our family names have to do with these. On my rug here, you can see different types of things. What are these different types of things? Eagle, bear. Yeah, and those are animals right and, bull. and there's a, a, a buffalo over on that side you're right so in the Ojibwe culture what we did to separate our family lines is we named our families after certain animals and we call that the clan system can you say clan system, clan system. good job now clan kind of just means family family clan they're very very similar words <clears throat> so Today, there are many, many clans in the Ojibwe Nation. But the original seven clans is what I'm going to share a teaching about today. So a long, long time ago, Sunshine, when the Ojibwe first migrated to this part of Turtle Island where we live now, there were seven original families that came here. And I want to talk about those seven original clans. So I'm going to pull out some pictures for you to see. I find it easier to remember things when you can see a picture of it, or even better, go out and touch it. Be out in the forest on Mother Nature. So, we're going to get started. Now, I always like to start with these two. This is the crane. crane. And this is the loon. So you have the crane clan, crane family, and the loon clan, and the loon family. And traditionally, these two family clans were our leaders. These were the leaders in our community. Um, it's great to have two families in charge too. If the Crane family was in charge, they might start to get greedy and they might start to do everything for only their family. So just like in today's leadership, it's great to have two parties in charge to kind of maintain balance um, and, and kind of just bounce things off each other. Now, if you're gonna be a leader, you have to have a couple of characteristics. You can't be mean, right? If you're mean and you're a bully, nobody is going to want to follow you. And no one, it's going to be hard to lead people. Oh, no, that one's coming up next. You're not supposed to see that one yet. <laughs> so sometimes uh, what would happen is <clears throat> the Crane family and the Loon family, they would both have great ideas. The Crane family has this fantastic idea and they think they should use their idea. But the Loon family, they have a great idea too. And the families are kind of arguing about whose idea was better. Now, if that ever happened, 
they would go to a member of this family. And you said it. What's that? A fish. Good job. This is the fish clan. Now, the fish clan are known to be very, very smart and deep, deep thinkers. So they would come to the fish clan and they'd say, um, or the fish clan would take the two different ideas and they would think about it for a while and they would come back to the community and say, I think we should go with the crane clan's idea. And they would give a really good reason and the community would respect that reason. So the crane and the loon were our leaders in our community. And again, if you want to be a leader, you can't be a bully, you gotta be nice, but you also have to have a good voice. The leader has to get up in front of the whole classroom, in front of the whole school, in front of the community, and they have to have a clear, strong voice. And then they have to take the message of the people to other communities and share that voice with other communities as well. So if you're a leader, you gotta have a good public speaking voice, and you gotta be someone who the people will like and follow. And the fish clan, again, these were our philosophers. These were our deep thinkers, our, our scientists. They were always wondering why. Right? Why are leaves green? Why is the sky blue? Where does the sun go at nighttime? They were always figuring and thinking and wondering. So if you are someone who's always wondering, and you think that you are very intelligent, very smart, this clan might sound more like you. Now, when I was growing up, um, I did not know what clan that I was. My family had lost the clan. And I always used to think I might be Crane. Because I've always been a good public speaker. And I love that bird. He always comes and visits me on the golf course. So I used to think I was Crane Clan. But recently, we found out that I am Beaver Clan. I am a Mick. A Mick Dodem is how we say that in Ojibwe. So today I know my clan is Beaver. But when I was growing up and I didn't know, I thought it might have been Crane. So I kind of like that one too. So, so far we got Crane, Loon, and Fish. What is this one? Bear. This is the Bear Clan. Good. Now, if you belong to the Bear Clan, you were kind of like the police, but also mixed in with a doctor. Because the Bear Clan protected the people. They enforced the rules of our culture. But in order to protect the people, what they were doing a lot of the time during the day was spending, spending time in the bush. They were patrolling the borders of our territory, making sure nobody was coming to steal from us, and nobody was coming to hurt us. So they were watching over the community from afar. And because they were in the bush all day, what happened was they got to know all of the little medicines and little plants. So the bear clan was also kind of like the doctors. If you needed a certain medicine, you could go to that family and you could get those medicines as well. So if you think you are like a, a protector, someone who's very strong and likes to protect people, this clan kind of sounds like you. And when I do this lesson with the mainstream students, um, I always like them to listen and kind of wonder as we're doing this exercise and think what clan kind of sounds like them. And then afterwards they get to kind of pick their clan. But today in this video, me and you, we know we'll be your clan. Um, it's just the way I present it. So, bear clan, like the protectors. What's this one? Deer. That is the deer clan. Good job. And your mama is uh, in a hooved clan as well. Not the deer, but um, there's several hooved animals that fall under this umbrella. Now, if you belong to the deer clan, you were known to be very kind and gentle. People in this clan did not use bad words. They did not yell and raise their voice. They were always the ones saying just... Calm down, it's okay, let's talk this out, everything's going to be fine. So if you feel that you are very kind and gentle, you might have a strong connection with the deer clan. And again, that's mama's, so I think we do. Now this little guy here, you might not recognize. Oh, let's go sideways. What is that? Muskrat. Oh, good guess. This is called a marten. Can you say marten? Marten. Marten, yeah. Now martens are really cool animals. They're pretty crazy. There's this part in our brain called the fear center. And Martins and Wolverines, they have very small fear centers. These guys are not afraid of anything. A Martin will walk right up to a huge black bear, try to claw his eyes out, right? He's just not afraid. And if you belong to the Martin clan, you were a warrior. Now the Ojibwe people, we were pretty peaceful. We didn't <clears throat> like to fight with our neighbors. More times than not, we had allies with the neighboring communities around us. But every now and then, 
We had to defend our people. We had to go to war. So all of the people in all of the clans in our communities trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and trained to be hunters. Um, but this family was in charge of our battle. These were the admirals and the generals. If it came time to war, elders in the Martin clan would tell us when to fight, where to fight. They would organize the troops and plan the battle strategy during war times. So the Martin clan, um, those are the warriors. And if you ever lost your clan, the Martin clan would adopt you into their clan because they always need to replenish the ranks of our warriors. So if you feel that you are a warrior, Sunshine, that one you would identify with. <clears throat> what is this one? Eagle. This is the Eagle clan. Good. Now the Eagle clan, these were our spiritual leaders. These guys would lead the ceremonies. If somebody passed away, these guys would lead the funeral ceremony. If somebody was getting married, someone from this family would lead the marriage ceremony. So these guys were very spiritual, carried many of the sacred items and teachings and had a strong relationship with the spirit world and the creator. So if you feel that you have a very strong spiritual connection, the Eagle clan might be something that you connect with as well. So let's say really quick one more time, Sunshine. Let's say crane. Crane. Loon. Loon. Fish. Fish. Bear. Bear. Deer. Deer. Martin. Martin. Eagle. Eagle. Good job. Those are the original seven clans of the Ojibwe. And again, today there's a lot more clans than just this. Like me, the beaver, I fall under those small pod creatures under the umbrella of the Martin clan. And there's elk and moose clan. Um, as well under the hoof creatures. And the bear clan, it got so big at one point, the that family got so big, they actually broke the bear clan into parts of the bear. So there was the bear paw clan and the bear um, skull clan and the different parts of the bear because that family had gotten so big. So, and again, when I was growing up, I didn't know any of this stuff. And I always, when I first started learning when I was a teenager, I thought maybe I'm crane clan and uh, my dad searched his whole life trying to find our family clan, and he died before we found it. And it was actually uh, Mama that found my family name on a clan system chart on the island, and that comes under the Beaver clan. So today I can tell people, Ani Bojo, Jole Gawisha, Dijnikas, Tikimik Shing, and Ishnabek Donjaba, and Amik Dodem. That is my family clan. And when we introduce ourselves, we like to do that in the language. So, hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Bom up here, everybody. Take Bye care. Auntie. Stay safe. And we'll see you next video. Okay. All right. So, that's uh, my little lesson on the Ojibwe clan system and the seven original clans. Um, it was a really big deal in my life finding my clan. Uh, so many First Nations families have lost their clan through the residential school systems and the historical trauma that's happened here in Canada. Um, and when I introduce myself, I'm Mick Dodem in that circle today. Um, it's like a, you know, a missing piece that, that I found for, for my family. So um, identity is a huge thing. It's a big part of my job. And um, having that family clan back in my family is, is huge for me. So miigwech for watching, everybody. I hope you're being safe. Uh, Bamapi.